we're taking a look at a build for the DDC in our mech here, John Coffey. It uses two LRM-15s with Artemis along with two ER large lasers. It is a bit of a suboptimal build, especially since missile damage isn't what it used to be. Um, the weapon system isn't used a whole lot in games nowadays, and I understand why. I can do far better with ballistic weapons, frankly. Um, but there's missiles in the game, and I'm going to play it, damn it. And frankly, I'm not sure what to do with my DDC at the moment. I've been playing miscellaneous builds that I find interesting and fun. Uh, some people will give you hate for putting some uh, LRMs on a DDC, but I do well enough with it, and usually the people bitching are doing worse than me, so I don't know. Haters are going to hate. So, with the LRMs, we'll end up moving up and staying with the group, generally staying about 500 meters away from the enemy. Uh, we have a fair amount of ammunition in this build, so we can continue to fire um, on targets pretty much freely. We're not going to worry about ammo conservation too much. And the ER large lasers touch about um, 1,300 meters away, so they're pretty good for range, and we can continue to fire those if we can see the target as well until we start to overheat. Then I might back up and start using my missiles more, depending on the circumstances. We do have a Guardian ECM, which does shield everyone around us from um, enemy lock-ons and um, staying off the radar, which is good. Uh, Frankly, I don't see a lot of LRMs used nowadays, and frankly, they're not that awesome, but you know what? I'm, I'm going to play it. Uh, so, other than that, we have light armor on our legs. I also store the bulk of my LRM ammo inside the legs. Frankly, people don't seem to shoot the legs on Atlas's that much. And if they do, um, I'm not moving that much slower, really. I have a 350 engine in here, standard, but um, I'm still really not going that fast. This damn thing handles like a Zamboni. Now, I've played a lot of other builds with our um, DDC, and I have kind of favored ballistics and energies, uh, but I'm not sure if that's because those weapons in general are favored in the current patch of this game. Now, there might be a change when the clan wars happen regarding missile damage. I highly doubt it, but there, yeah, we'll see what happens. This is the new user interface. I won't say too much about it other than there are literally buttons missing. I can't seem to sell uh, weapons. I do have to go through an odd assortment of buttons to get my configuration to save correctly by backing out and I go to weapons groups and a bunch of other mess like that. It looks a little prettier, but they still need to fix that, so yeah. Uh, otherwise, the armor distribution is pretty light on the legs. I usually don't put armor there because frankly it doesn't get blown up. Uh, I'm pretty light on my back armor. I'm pretty good about protecting it, so I pretty much load everything up on the front armor. We're going to have to face the opponent to get a good lock anyways, and the lasers have to stay on target as well. So we're generally not going to be doing too much torso twisting, um, at least at the start. When we start getting things blown off, we'll change our uh, patterns. Uh, otherwise, we're going to take a look at uh, how this plays. We're on Alpine Peaks. Uh, the cold temperature is going to be good for our missiles and our energy weapons. Um, I think this is decent terrain for the LRMs, and um, we should be able to get a, a good viewpoint for firing the LRMs and for firing our laser platform. Uh, I do generally like lasers. Uh, they're instantly on target. You do have to hold them there. I'm hoping to see some new laser types when the clan wars start to happen. But otherwise, uh, one of my favorite weapon systems. Very easy to use, very fun. And the extended range lasers are only a little bit hotter, so generally I can't see a reason not to use the ERs over the normal lasers. But maybe they'll change, they always change weapon damage and performance and things of that nature. I know heat scaling and other things of that nature is still in the works. I don't know if I'm becoming indifferent to this ready-up mechanic or if it's gotten better. I don't think it has. It takes forever. I mean, you have to wait till everyone's in and then it's 60 seconds. I don't remember a time when everyone pressed ready. Just gonna let this sit for the next seven seconds in dead air. Ready up! All right, there we go. One of these days, these interior consoles will end up showing something other than no detection. I mean, the game's been released, but clearly there's still shit. That's one of my grievances against certain free-to-play games. That kind of shenaniganry. Alright, we're going to try to get a good vantage point. Let's see where our team currently is. Uh, we're here, moving around. Um, yeah, we'll continue going this way. Oh. oh my god. That slowing down, going up hills, I understand it, but... God, it's the bane of DDCs. pretty far off. Uh, 
Now, we're going to want to stick with our group. Uh, the ideal distance is going to be about 500 meters. It's going to allow our missiles to hit fairly quickly. Otherwise, they'll reach out to 1,000 meters, but frankly, the they'll, they'll dodge by the time they get there. These damn missiles fire so slowly. If they did more damage, I wouldn't have an issue with it. So we're going to move up. We're going to cloak our friends. We're going to LRM some people. We're going to shoot some lasers. Those guys are still a little bit too far off for me. Let's get up to this hill here. The light, the lasers in general are fairly good at dealing with light mechs because you can kind of sweep. I have a pretty good ping, so uh, they're especially pretty good for me. Oh, sensitivity's a bit high. Oh, who the hell hit me? You bastard. Somebody hit my center torso with something. I don't think it was this Jenner. It felt like a, a ballistic square round. So I'm going to assume over this hill, somebody shot me. Huh. Target I just don't know. Move around, those guys are going to start to fire at me. Now in this instance, if somebody is still locking on to him, I can continue to fire on him regardless of my direct line of sight, which I'm doing right now. I may be slow, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to keep hitting him with missiles. That's how we roll. Ugh, my goodness, let's get over there. There's a lot of guys. Where is the bulk of my team? We are really spread out, so this is not going to turn out well for me. I can already tell. But we'll try our best. Oh, the modules I have on here uh, obviously are the advanced zoom. It goes to three times zoom and then a fourth time on top of that. I have increased sensor range, which gives me 25% bonus to my range on my uh, radar systems, the little red reticles. And then I also have uh, target decay. Uh, so when I lose line of sight, it decays slower until I fully lose line of sight for my okay. targeting of my LRMs. Yeah, I love you too, buddy. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to hit the guy with a laser. It's very tricky at this range. Alright, now we're going to back off with our, uh, with our extended range lasers, because we're overheating. I should really deal with that guy that's shooting at me. Alright, so there's an individual over here that is shooting at me. Target. Yeah, you get out of here, you son of a bitch. Fire on me. Like some defenseless LRM boat. I'M NOT A VICTIM! Alright, he's in pretty good cover. I'm gonna back up. It's not gonna be super helpful for me to continue firing on him. However, he's pretty badly messed up already. He should be careful. I can kind of see him over there. At 
Situational awareness. How's our team doing? Looks fairly good. Want to keep dicking around with this guy? No. Um, I'm worried that he's going to shoot me in the ass when I try to get away. Let's see what these guys are looking at. Yeah, let's start firing on this guy. We got one nicked. I generally like the arc that they end up taking. Um, I'm not hugely concerned that they do move slowly. I just wish they were a little bit more damage-wise. Because they don't get really heavily that used. Yeah, I know. I knew you were going to shoot me in the ass. Fine. Fine. I'm moving. Coming for you, you son of a bitch. One more son of a bitch over at J5. I'm not sure what he's firing. I may, he might be firing dual gauze rounds. Uh, if so, he is definitely not aiming good. <laughs> I should have been destroyed with gauze rounds. Uh, I want my team to actually go in there. Because I don't want to lose all my missiles. However, I don't have that many missiles left. But I still have lasers left. I can see your feet, you bastard! Fair enough. Go, my minions! Descend upon him like a great locust fury. Oh, he wasn't even firing at the right side. I don't have any ballistics weapons. Was missiles hitting? I can't tell. I don't care. Now I'm rolling in! I've got one laser! They're probably gonna be dead by the time I get there. Yeah, okay. We won via points. Not how I'd like to win. I forgot how much time we had, but eh, alright. Uh, I was a little surprised. Our group kind of uh, spread out quite a bit, and I was expecting to get rolled over. As you can see, we don't do horribly well. I mean, that's not even the best example I have of running this mech. Um, we usually don't get the kills because we're doing a lot of damage just generally over the course of the body, but that allows our other teammates to take the pot shots in the sensitive regions, and generally speaking, it disorients people. If you keep getting hit with missiles and missiles, you dive behind cover, there's other people shooting you, it just adds more chaos, confusion, and rocking to you. Um, and like I said before, I've cleared a thousand points with multiple kills before. It just depends on the map and how cohesive your team is. Um, and that's really your builds are going to do that regardless. They're going to be good if your team's good, and they're going to be bad if your team's bad. Uh, otherwise, let's take a look at uh, our things here. God, I have so much EXP. I don't like that multi... Uh, you have to get three variants of the same type to go up to elite. This thing's just sitting at a basic. But um, we got four kill assists, two component destructions, did a fair amount of damage, um, zero team kills. I don't know if there's team damage anywhere, but all right.